Hi, track announcer Robert Geller here from Woodbine Racetrack as we take a look at the eligible runners for the 164th running of the King's Plate, which is North America's longest consecutively run stakes race and Canada's most prestigious horse race. It is now time to take a look at the road to the King's Plate from the Daily Racing Form and see who is on the top 10 list of Wrong Gear Kink. Once again, here is Gino Bucola with his insights into the contenders for this year's King's Plate. Thanks, Robert. Welcome to another edition of DRF Road to the King's Plate. The King's Plate is the first jewel of the OLG Canadian Triple Crown. And I'm excited to talk about three horses that are on our radar. They're in the rankings and they are on Ron's top five list of his personal power ranking. So the three horses that I'm gonna talk about today are first, Stanley House, and Stanley House is the number one for Ron. Stanley House is going to be racing this weekend in the plate trial. All three of the horses that I'm going to be talking about are racing this weekend. So we will have a lot of movement after the Woodbine Oaks and the plate trial. There's also an allowance race early on the card on Sunday that one of the horses I like is in. But for Stanley House, it's really tough to knock his overall form. He's been good on the all weather really all along. And if you look at some of his recent losses, the horses have, who have defeated him, they have come back and run well, like Tyson, who came back and beat Older in a grade three. He also lost to Turf King, who came back and won the Marine. So his form has been very good and it has been franked even more. The next one I'm going to take a look at is Paramount Prince. He is number four on Ron's list. And what's intriguing to me about this one is the speed. He will stretch out to a mile and an eighth in the plate trial and we will see how far he can go. He is probably one of the quicker horses that would be in the starting gate if he were to make it in the King's Plate. So I think he has a, a real weapon that many others don't. Speed that is just really, really tough to go with. I'm gonna be keeping a big eye on Paramount Prince. For the final horse this weekend that I'm going to be watching, it's Stay On or Good Side, who is also running on Sunday, but is in an, in an allowance race earlier on the card in race number three on Sunday. Now, this one will be getting the blinkers, and I think that could help just show a little more focus. This is a horse who will now be getting an opportunity to, I think, show a little more positional speed. So stay on her good side, get some class relief, gets the blinkers on, hoping that can be kind of like a wake up type race for them. Three horses for me that I'm keeping an eye on this week. They're all on Ron's radar. They're all on the top five of Ron's list. They're top 10 in the power rankings. Big weekend this weekend. Good luck all over in the Woodbine Oaks and in the play trial. Thank you, Gino. Join us each Sunday as we travel along Daily Racing Form's road to the first leg of the OLG Canadian Triple Crown, the King's Plate.